the Taming of the Shrew. Oh, wow! I love Taming of the Shrew. I did a paper on it in high school. Who knows not where a wasp does wear his sting? In his tail! In his tongue! <laughs> Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tails. It's so farewell. Uh, what, with my tongue in your tail? <laughs> Barry's a little unnerving. So don't look at it. She's like my fourth favorite Catwoman. No kidding. Yeah, Julie Newmar, Michelle Pfeiffer, Eartha Kitt, and then her. What about Lee Merriweather? Oh, I forgot about Lee Merriweather. Well, I'm glad that's settled. That makes Halle Berry my fifth favorite Catwoman. It's Julie Newmar, Michelle Pfeiffer, Eartha Kitt, Lee Merriweather. Please, I'm begging you, go to sleep. I'm trying. I'm counting cat women. <laughs> now, introduction to physics. You, what is physics? Physics comes from the ancient Greek word physica. It's at this point that you'll want to start taking notes. <laughs> Physica means the science of natural things, and it is there in ancient Greece that our story begins. Ancient Greece? Uh, should you have questions, raise your hand. <laughs> it's a warm summer evening, circa 600 B.C. You've finished your shopping at the local market, or Agora. <laughs> and you look up at the night sky, and there... You notice some of the stars seem to move, so you name them Planetes, or Wanderer. <laughs> this is the beginning of the 2600-year journey we're going to take together from... <laughs> the ancient Greeks, through Isaac Newton, to Niels Bohr, to Erwin Schrodinger, to the Dutch researchers that Leonard is currently ripping off. <laughs> 600 years? Yeah, give or take. As I was saying, it's a warm summer evening in ancient Greece. Yes, Jenny? I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Can't you hold it? Not for 2,600 years. But... <laughs> now remember, Newton realized that Aristotle was wrong and force was not necessary to maintain motion. So let's plug in our 9.8 meters per second squared as A and B get force equals mass times 9.8 meters per second per second. So, we can see that MA equals MG, and what do we know from this? Uh, we know that Newton was a really smart cookie. Oh, is that where Fig Newtons come from? No, Fig Newtons are named after a small town in Massachusetts. Well, don't write that down. Superman, I want to be Green Lantern. But I'm Green Lantern. You can be Aquaman. I don't want to be Aquaman. He sucks. <laughs> he sucks in the water. <laughs> he sucks fish feet. <laughs> Excuse me, I believe Aquaman uses his telepathic powers to request the fish do their business elsewhere. <laughs> okay, well, forget it. I'm not... Excuse me, Wolverine Origin, miniseries issue 2, page 22, retractable bone claws. You people spend less time thinking about sex and more time concentrating on comic books. We have far fewer of these embarrassing moments. You're just in time. I believe I've isolated the algorithm for making friends. Sheldon, there is no algorithm for making friends. Well, hear him out. If he's really onto something, we could open a booth at Comic-Con, make a fortune. <laughs> See, my initial approach to Kripke had the same deficiencies as those that played Stu the Cockatoo when he was new at the zoo. <laughs> Stu the Cockatoo? Yes. He's new at the zoo. <laughs> it's a terrific book. Yeah, I've distilled its essence into a simple flow chart that will guide me through the process. Have you thought about putting him in a crate while you're out of the apartment? <laughs> Hello, Kripke. Yeah, Sheldon Cooper here. You, it occurred to me that you hadn't returned any of my calls because I hadn't offered any concrete suggestions for pursuing our friendship. Yeah, perhaps the two of us might share a meal together. Yeah, I see. Well, then perhaps you'd have time for a hot beverage. <laughs> Popular choices include tea, coffee, cocoa. I see. No, 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 wait, don't hang up yet. 